Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Eagle PCB. Today we'll be producing a 5 volt 100 milliamp regulator circuit diagram and we also will be producing the copper layout as well. So the first thing you need to do is to go and get some components. So if we go to edit add and just scroll down to VREG directory which is right down the bottom click on the arrow and we want the 78 series XX and this is a T092 package outline so that's what we want press OK and just place it in the middle of the page press escape and we just close this VREG down and then we need to go and find a couple of capacitors so that's normally in the RCL directory so click on that and we could use that one, let's see we only need uh, 50 it's probably a bit too wide actually that's better so we've got a 2.5 grid and obviously a 2.5 by 5 mil capacitor so that's okay for the input so we can place that just zoom in a bit then press escape again and we need uh, an electrolytic capacitor so this will be polarity and we'll go for the EU version and we just need to get electrolytic right so these are the diameter 6, 7 and 8 so we'll just pick the 8 diameter 8 with a 3.5 grid and that'll be fine and that's just the output and then obviously press the right button on the mouse just to rotate the component we can place that there. Escape again. And the only thing we need now is to go and get is the terminal blocks because we'll be using terminal blocks. So that's on the Wago Conwago 500, and it'll be the two-pin version. So okay. We'll just place zoom out a bit and then just place that about there and right click to rotate the component and then about there and escape and cancel so those are components onto the schematic now I'm going to do a save so I'm just going to go file save as so I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to call this 5 volt reg All right. And I'm also going to give it 100 milliamps because we'll be producing another one which is going to be a 1 amp version at the later stage. So just do a save. Okay, so now we've got that, we can just go and connect everything up. So let's start with our nets and just connect that point to that point, that point to that one. Now these are going to be the ground, so they need to come down a bit, but we can actually, they're not uh, as they come into a block, but you can actually move them. So if you get to your move tool, just drag them down, you'll see that we can actually move the actual terminals within the box. So now we can also move these capacitors down a bit actually. So we me just move that down and the electrolytic. Then we can add a net between the zero volts line. One between the ground and that point. And we might as well just do the capacitors at the same time. There. And there. So it's all connected up but we just need to make sure we're just going to add junctions where we need them so what I'm going to do now is to go in and add junctions to this to these points so he knows that those points are all connected just do an escape 
do a save. Right, so there's our circuit. It's pretty simple, not a lot to it really. And this doesn't have um on the input you're gonna have to put a DC input, there's no bridge rectifier on this, so that would be another tutorial which we'll probably do at another later date. So on this tutorial I'm just gonna do a save again and that's it for this one. The next tutorial I'll show you how to actually convert this into the copper printed circuit board.